All right, the first thing we have to do in order to be able to make circuit boards on the Roland Modella using the fab modules is to install the fab modules. Now the fab modules are a part of the CoCompi project, but the easiest way to find the most recent copy is to go to Google and type fab modules. You have to spell it right, apparently. And once we get past the ads, I'm scrolling down here. Here's fab modules on the server called cocompi.cba.mit.edu. So this is the, the file um, or the directory that we want. And if you scroll down, you'll see some other links um, from lots of other people who have written tutorials about, on how to install or compile or use the fab modules on different um, operating systems and for different projects. So they're a really good resource. Make sure that you're using uh, Google to search the whole world for you. But now I'm going to go to fab modules. And what I'm showing you in this video is installing the fab modules, the pre-compiled um, fab modules for Ubuntu. And if I scroll down, here's fab.zip, which is pre-compiled for Ubuntu. I'm going to right click and save. Now I'm going to save on the desktop so I know how to find it easily. All right, and uh, I'm going to go to the desktop now. And so here I happen to, on my desktop, we already have this folder called user, users, because we share this computer. Um, but fab.zip is the file that we just downloaded. I'm going to open the zip file by right clicking on it, open with Archive Manager, and uh, extract. Right. It's going to ask me where I want to extract it to, and I'm going to leave it on the desktop here. If you have a really cluttered desktop, you might want to make a new folder. But I'm going to use the desktop and just click on extract over here, over here, extract. It's really fast because there's not that, um, it's not like a lot of big files. And close. All right, or quit. So now, see, we used to have the folder users and the file that we downloaded. And now we have four more things. This folder called bin, which is short for binary. A folder called src, which is short for source. A file called commands.html, which is like a cheat sheet of all the different commands that are available. And this file called makefab, which helps you compile the source files into executable programs. Now, since we're installing something pre-compiled for this operating system, I could just delete these. These are um, available to you. The source is the original source code so that you could compile the source for your operating system and your machine. But we don't need them because they were pre-compiled for Ubuntu. So I deleted those. Now, the only thing that we have to do is in this binary folder, we need to move all of these files um, to a location where the system is going to know how to go find them. So if I take a look inside this directory, double click on it to look inside, I'm just going to use the list. Uh, really, I'm going to use the list. There it is. You can see that what's inside of here are a bunch of scripts and some executable um, down here, some executable binaries, right? And I want to move all of these to a location where um, the computer knows how to find them. Now here's the only tricky part, right? Um, what I want to do essentially is drag and drop. I want to click on something and I'm going to move it to somewhere else. The problem is the place that I want to move it to, the user, PHM, the, in, in my case my, my username is PHM, you can see down here, uh, PHM or a standard user doesn't have rights to the place where I want to put all of these files. Um, you need to be able to, to be root or the admin user, which is called root on a Ubuntu system. Now, there isn't really a good non kludgy way to be able to do that. So here's the one thing that I need you to do on a command line. Right? Um, here I've opened up a terminal and I'm going to move or copy those files from the bin directory to the, the location where we conventionally put uh, executable or programs that every user in the whole system should be able to find. All right, so first I'm going to go to the desktop. All right, so you can see I have uh, the folder called bin, that file called commands, uh, the original file I downloaded called fab.zip and users, that folder that was already on my desktop. And what I want to do, I'm going to cd, which is change directory, to bin. So I'm inside of bin. And if I ls, which means list, 
um, I'm going to use ls-l, which is going to show me all of the, um, the status or the permissions and the ownership of all the files. You can see I have lots and lots of files, right, it scrolled off the screen. Um, and it's showing us the, in this case, this little pile over here is the um, permissions. Uh, what I want to do is move all of these files. Clear. So you can see what I'm typing. I'm going to move all these files to this other directory where all the files need to be. So first, <clears throat> you want to use the command sudo. That means do as su, which is the super user or root user, so sudo. Then I'm going to move or copy. You can use mv, which is move. You can also use cp, which is copy. I'm going to move everything in the bin directory, which is where I'm at. And I can tell that I'm in the bin directory because of the prompt here. It tells me that I'm in, in bin. So I'm going to move everything, just star, to slash usr, which is short for user, slash local, and slash bin. All right, you got that? So you need the admin or root password. And uh, there we go. So if I now look at, so LS's list, if I look at user local bin, um, all of those, those programs are now over in user local bin. And we can test this by typing fab. Now, if the programs were installed correctly, then you'll get a window to come up. Now, I changed the screen resolution here, so fab is actually a smaller window that'll pop up on your, on your screen. Um, this thing is 640 by 480, um, and your screen is probably um, a higher resolution than that, right? So this is now how you're going to call all of those other scripts um, in that package. That's why this thing is called the fab modules, because all of these separate tasks are our modules so that um, uh, the entire system is modular, right? So if you, if you type fab and you had that screen come up, then you've successfully installed the fab modules.